All right, so it is time to get our SNS out of Jewel Space finally and have it head over to Elu. And I've plotted a course that I hope is actually plotted properly. Uh, and it's going to cost a bit, 700, but we seem to have a very close encounter there. But maybe we'll have to tweak it in Kerbal Space. We shouldn't be doing a radial, that's just a timing thing. But since the burn is already 700, that's not too much. Okay, it looks like we've got a potential ELU encounter right there. And once we get there, we'll have to get into orbit. That's the rule for the planets. 700's not too bad, though. Could have been worse. Not an ideal exit. We would like it out of the periapsis, but our orbit is not lopsided in the right way. And I don't want to pull it down to get some benefit out of Jewel. I don't think that's necessary or useful. This is, of course, not a Hohmann transfer. It's uh, We're really close to a transfer. Waiting for a Hohmann transfer when you're really close to it can be painful. Go. Well, definitely increasing our orbital velocity is what we want to do, so we're in good shape right now. And where is Jewel anyway? We're pretty high up over Jewel, so... Yeah, there's the Jolly Green Giant right there. Just did the burn straight up, and let's see if we got what we were supposed to. Well, not exactly. <laughs> um, we are leaving. Maybe we'll check how it is once we've left. We seem to have a crossing point there. I don't know how close it is because it's not telling me. I've still got Elu as a target, but it's probably not going to tell me until I get out of the SOI. We are nowhere near the darn thing. Lies. Yeah, doing the maneuver as planned seemed to have overdone it quite a lot. And skewed it a bit too. But again, that's why I wanted a whole bunch of extra Delta V. Okay, we seem to have an Elu encounter, but I can't see the details, so it's definitely not 57 million kilometers, right? <laughs> I hope not. That's afterwards. That's after the first encounter. It's got a... no, oh, there's a periapsis. I'm just hiding that periapsis from me. Okay, this burn claims it'll get me to 416 kilometers. Don't know about that, but we'll try it. Alright, correcting for Elu. Nope, it's going up. No. Well, I figured something would happen. Alright, 60,000 kilometers. That's a little bit more than I wanted. Uh, I don't know. Should we correct that or get into the SOI first? Elo's not going to help that much with gravity, is it? Let's just go into the SOI first. Okay, we are in Elo's SOI. And we don't have a particularly low periapsis right now, but... Maybe we can go radial in, I don't know how effective that's going to be. Uh, it seems pretty effective though. I guess that'll do. It's wobbled all over the place. Let's get closer. I think we'll just capture into a tighter orbit. Should not cost that much. Our orbital speed is only 584. There it is. Yeah, more or less what you would have expected. It didn't, like, suddenly give it a heart like Pluto has or anything. Alright. Well, ignition. Some wobble there. Valentina capturing around Elu. 
Next up I guess will be Moho, that'd be logical. We sort of missed out on Duna on the way up, so we'll have to go Moho, Eve, then Duna, then back to Kerbin, hopefully back to Kerbin. We'll see. It's possible Moho will take everything we've got. Okay. So we will get relatively close to Ilu here. Serious canyons. Serious canyons. Very fractured surface. Interesting landing prospects in those canyons. But okay, let's say I wanted to go to Moho. Is it going to tell me the truth about my trajectory? Hmm. I guess it is. Alright, so it's telling me the truth around Ilu. I feel like this will be a lot more efficient if we just flatten our orbit out and... Oh no, don't wander. Don't go with that. Don't, don't follow it. Don't follow it. There's an inclination change. I was trying to follow the maneuver. Badly again. That is not tea. Oh, forget it. Alright, so I've decided that we will just exit Elu SOI just barely and then do the rest in Kerbal orbit, especially close to our node with respect to Moho's orbit so that we can hit Moho's orbit right at. I forget whether it's ascending or descending. No, we're not correcting it. Uh, so that'll take a while, but it's not like Val is uh, consuming any food, water, and oxygen or anything right now. So yeah, uh, it doesn't really show an encounter encounter. We have some distance to the planet. We could probably tweak that, but we should get out of Moho SOI, uh, sorry, Elu SOI first and then figure that out. Right now it's probably not very accurate. So let's do this burn to depart Elu. Very troubled landscape here. All right, and ignition. We just barely need to exit. It's not going to show me my progress on that thing because I've got another node plotted. Always fun. But we can just sort of aim for the trajectory that I was trying to go for. Okay, not exactly right, but close. So we'll try that. And it got rid of the other node anyway. I should never plot the next node. I mean, why even plot two nodes when it's going to get rid of the second one? But it's not showing me the ascending and descending nodes, so I'll exit Elu SOI first. I have no idea how much it's going to be to get down to Moho orbit. But then we have to, at Moho, circularize or capture into Moho orbit. That's the one that's going to be expensive. It's gonna make it difficult to get to Eve and Duna afterwards, much less Kerbin again. Uh, 3,250 is a lot more than I was expecting here. Will Val get stuck around Moho? Maybe. Okay, so the thing is, there's not really a transfer window to Moho from up here. You can basically pick your timing because uh, the time of Moho, Moho's orbit, Moho's orbital period is like a tiny bit of this arc here. So you can just shift your maneuver just a little bit one way or another and you'll eventually hit Moho. But yeah, that's a chunk. That's a lot. Let me just see, you know, without Moho's influence, how much it would take to get down to Moho's orbit. I don't know if Moho's orbits that much anyway. Well, I can't see because I can't see the next node's delta V. Well, okay, if that's really 60,000 kilometers, I think we can go with that. If that's really what we've got there. Uh, point two. It's not really perfect, but it might be going rather fast, but we'll see. All right. Yep. I don't know if we're going to be able to capture. We'll find out. On to the node. On the one hand, it might be easier to go to Duna first instead of bringing the orbit all the way down. You know, maybe it'd be easier to go to Duna first instead of bringing the or orbit all the way down. But Moho is so challenging. Um, 
I, I, I'll go for Moho. Uh, if I'm gonna strand Valentina somewhere, it'll be closer to the sun. <laughs> okay, we are going. You know, um, that's not our apoapsis and periapsis. <laughs> That is, that is, I hope not anyway. I don't know what that apoapsis and periapsis is, but it's wrong. I mean, it's also not relevant to Moho because there's no way, we're not getting that close to it, not 51 kilometers or anything, so it's not like our plotted course either. It's a whole lot of nonsense, that apoapsis and periapsis. What the heck is going on there? I mean, I sure hope the map doesn't break down at this site, because we're supposed to be able to leave the Kerbal system eventually, right? Okay, well, that's pretty close to the plan. Let's see. It's those two. Okay, I thought I saw an encounter just now, but... Well, yeah, it says entering SOI. 5,000 kilometers. Still constantly going up, though. I guess that's probably the best I can do from all the way out here. So, we'll get closer. Here we go. Back in towards Kerbal. Guess I can full go full time warp. It's gonna be a while. Such a while that... Now we're height. Oh, okay, now it's finally changing. Is that like a limit on that gauge? Will we just at overflow limit there? Okay, we are within Eve's orbit now. I'll try and do a little tweak here to get closer. Uh, doesn't seem to be altering anything. Okay, well, uh, this burn isn't altering what that says is my periapsis, so maybe I don't get to know ahead of time. Seems like an awful quick encounter. And it's a skew, so we know the delta V to capture is going to be high. Well, let me try plotting something from out here. At least I can sort of see what's going on. I take it back, it's not really showing me what's going on there. Uh, it's not admitting any change to my periapsis based on my maneuvers. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's emitting sort of a change of orbit, but it's not actually showing the orbit. You see, the resulting orbit doesn't have any color. It's not a colored line. It's there, but it's not really showing it properly. Okay, fine. We'll go into the SOI and check. Okay, do I want to do a radial in? It's probably hopeless now. Well, let's just assume from that really high periapsis we tried to capture, how much is it going to cost? It's not actually letting me make a maneuver. Come on! Uh, we can't capture around Moho like this. Run out of fuel. I mean, I guess it would cost 7,000. I think we'll pass on that and just go with the Moho flyby. Maybe if we were closer, we would it wouldn't cost 7,000, probably. But it wasn't letting me make a correction burn that would show me my result ahead of time, so... Couldn't really do that. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to get to Duna. I think that's about right. If Eve was ahead, I'd probably go to Eve, but... I think Duna might be a good bet. We'll try to do a retro burn around Moho to try to get to Duna. But that's already way too much. Five degrees off, though. Well, if we leave it in sort of a high orbit, 
we could get an encounter over there after making an adjustment at the ascending node. I think we're aiming for flybys of everything else. I'll just go with that for now. I mean, I could probably, we could wait it out and get a transfer to Duna. Or we could do a radio burn to get a transfer to Duna that would allow us to capture around Duna. But I think it's better to fly by Duna and Eve in order to get back to Kerbin rather than try to capture around Duna and Eve. We'll see though. Um, so I'm gonna go with that and we'll adjust it after we exit Moho SOI. So minor burn here. Hopefully we can at least see Moho around here. Yep. There's Moho. We're not getting a whole lot closer though. If I had only been able to do a correction burn, but still it costs a lot of Delta V to capture. There are better ways of doing this. I just did everything based on what the angles were. Oh, Moho's not looking great right now, is it? I don't know what's up with that. Okay, node. Yeah, what's with the screening? I've seen that briefly on the other planets before, but not to this extent. Okay, on we go. Okay, burn complete. But it's not showing me my Duna approach now. When I had a plot, it did. But now I have to wait until I'm outside the SOI for some reason. Hmm, I don't think our encounter is what was advertised. Let's see, let's create a maneuver at periapsis here. Alright, we have an encounter, but I don't know how much this costs all combined. We have a maneuver here at periapsis to bring our orbit down, and then a maneuver up there to change our inclination. But I don't know how much that one costs. This one's already 1,300, so we will see. Really, we should go to EVE next. It was just a matter of timing because Eve is behind Moho and behind us. But we could just wait. A lot of this would cost a lot less if we just waited or did the maneuver at the right time. Uh, well, that's, that's the right location, so I guess we can just go. Well, another thing that occurs to me is we didn't really pass by the moon in Minmus. So that is unfortunate so far that we have not managed to do that but everything else is looking pretty tight right now so I don't know if we are even going to get back to Kerbin okay I think that's about right minus the inclination change so uh, and there goes the inclination change because of course there's no use plotting something ahead of time it's gonna cost like 800 right there. Okay, we do have an SOI change there. But that's a pretty high periapsis. We definitely want to get close to Duna. Certainly to within Ike levels. Must remember to fly by Ike at least. I mean, it's not hard. Fly by Ike. Alright, I'll take that for now. 839. So yeah, getting tight. On we go to Duna. Uh, well, that seems to be deviating. Okay. We'll do some perspective burns one way or another. Okay, 20,000 kilo 20, kilometers. I guess we'll proceed with that for now. Let me try to do some sort of maneuver here to fix it. Well, if I spend that much, I would expect something to happen. But yeah, it's totally given up on showing me changes to my orbit. I mean, okay, a little bit of flashy there, maybe. I mean, 49 should do something that stays within... I mean, this is 2 meters per second. It would have moved our incoming orbit somewhat. 
this little bit of their changes to our exit points. Well, it doesn't even show those little round things for our exit points right there. Right, well, now it does. But only when I click this does it show those. All right. But they don't seem to change. Yeah, I can't make a plan out of this, so I think it's had enough of me going from one planet to another. It's totally confused now or something, I don't know. So I can't do anything ahead of time to bring it in. Well, I could do it blindly without plotting something. Let's try. Okay, well, doing it blindly has sort of worked out. Okay. Don't see any Ike encounter or anything. Saying Ike as a target doesn't show a closest approach once again. So, we'll just continue on in. At least we've got a closer periapsis. Okay, well, let's just check how much it would cost to capture with this periapsis here. After we do a 108... Well, okay. Actually, I can't see. So, uh, why don't we do this burn first, which will correct our inclination. But I don't know if I want to get this close to... Duna, you see, because I do want to hit Ike as well. We already technically have a Duna flyby, but I want the Ike package too. But we'll do this and we'll see how much it costs to capture, just to verify that we can't, which I fully expect. Not with 2,000 meters per second. Uh, well, that's a little bit close. That's like just outside of Duna's atmosphere. But, okay, let's see how much it costs like that. Well, it says no fuel there. <laughs> that could be ho horribly wrong, though. But I'm guessing it's not. I'm guessing that we'll need more than 2,000. So, let's just get rid of that. And what I'm mostly concerned with is encountering Ike. I can't believe it. I mean, Ike is being ridiculously picky here. Wants us to go on that side? What does that do to our... Uh, okay, well, it doesn't do anything good to our outbound trajectory, considering it's not giving us any honest answers about that. Um, I mean, in theory, there's a way that I could help us capture, but it doesn't feel like it's doing any of that. <laughs> so, well, uh, if we're going to do this, we should do this earlier. So, we are going to go for Ike, by preference, and we're going to stay pretty high up over Duna. And we'll be going by Ike pretty quickly considering we're going in the opposite direction from its tendency around Duna orbit. But we'll go pretty close to it. After all, we like Ike. So we'll try that correction. After that, who knows? Is it showing me what's going to happen? No. It shows us being flung out of the system, which hardly seems likely considering Duna's influence around here. So probably we're getting flung to a lower orbit because Duna is one of the places where it shows you the opposite. I feel like it's showing us the opposite. It's showing us being flung out, so we'll be ending up closer to Kerbal. Okay, the Ike correction. Go. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't follow it, don't follow it. Oh, I just messed everything up by trying to follow the darn node. Because uh, obviously it's a major inclination correction because we're going right through Duna. We're looking to go right between Duna and Ike, basically. Okay, I'll take 200 kilometers. Let's go over there. Okay, there's Duna and Ike. Not the greatest view of Duna. And Ike, well, we should be passing by the sunlit side of Ike. On the way out, we'll be seeing the sunlit side of Duna. Not very close, though. 
Okay, I guess so I pass. And there it is, in all of its glory. And maybe Duna is a little bit better lit now. Yeah, well, not a close view of Duna, but as close as we're going to get. At least this time around. I'm trying to get Duna and Ike in the same frame, but they're not quite willing. Uh, okay, well, there they are. Maybe I should drop the HUD. Okay, well, where are we off to, actually? Even I don't know. So, right now it shows us being flung off like that, but I'm maintaining that Duna is one of the weird places where it's not telling us the truth. Let's find out. But, we hardly have enough Delta V to correct the situation. Okay, so that's our resulting orbit, and that alone is not getting us anywhere except back to Moho. Well, I want to at least pass by Eve, darn it. Just bring our orbit to be tangent to Eve's orbit is 1046. We'll see what we can do after that. I don't know. But we're going all the way around Kerbal in order to get to our apoapsis to do that. I should have corrected the inclination before getting over here, but it'll be cheaper once we raise the orbit, I suppose. Well, there's apparently something going on over there. It'll probably require an inclination change here. Okay, just a retrograde burn of about 270 here. Something like that, and then let's see if we can get that encounter with Eve. And then we will have not passed by the moon in Minmus, and we're certainly not getting back home. But at least we'll, we will have done some other stuff. Oh, we wouldn't have passed by Gilly either. I don't think I can manage the Gilly package here. Unless I'm very lucky. Stuff, we're still a little bit askew from Gilly. And it's not gonna show us the closest approach. Yeah, I mean, we gotta spend 266 on this correction just to get to Gilly. Don't think I can manage to figure out, uh, I get to Eve, I don't think I can manage a uh, Gilly approach if it's not gonna show me the closest approach distance at all. And go. Oh, right in the thrust here. Oh, why is it messing up again? Well, we know we have to do most of our Delta V here, so I guess that's that. I guess we'll wait until... well, no, that's just when we're out. That was probably too much. We weren't supposed to completely run out. Okay, we are in... Eve SOI, not Gilly. I keep saying Gilly, but it's Eve SOI. We have no fuel. We're just flying by. Well, I see a purple planet right there. We don't we are not getting particularly close to it though. That's about it. But with this flyby. Oh, I didn't want mouse look. With this flyby, uh, no, let me there we go. <laughs> I wanna have Eve at least in view. I keep using the middle mouse button to try and pan the view, but that doesn't work around here quite as easily. But yeah, so with this flyby of Eve concluding our journey with the SNS because we have no more fuel, uh, maybe I'll refine the system, who knows. I mean, now we know how to launch it, right? So, and it can go everywhere. Maybe if it's carrying a lander, you know, it can be a little bit more specialized, going to just one moon of jewel or something, but carrying a heavy lander would be nice. We'll see. Or maybe it'll be completely different. We'll find out in the future. But for now, we have had our voyages with it, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.